Hey Virgo, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a speed read for your sign today. A speed read. Yes, this is not like a regular reading. This is a super quick check in for love on Valentine's Day. So this is um, going to be quick and fast. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee and let's go through this super quick. Quick. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. As far as the minor arcana on the board, we have everybody. We have air energy, we have water energy, we have fire. Do we have fire? Hold up. Yes, fire and um, let's see, earth, pentacles, right? We have earth. As far as the major arcana goes, we have the Hierophant being Taurus. We have the Moon being Pisces or Cancer, depending upon your philosophy. The Wheel of Fortune is all four fixed signs, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which again, twice in this reading, all four fixed signs. We have the Sun, which is Leo. We have the Hermit, which is you, my Virgos. We have the Hierophant again, which is the card of Taurus. We have the Emperor, which is Aries. We have a Death, which is Scorpio. And that's it as far as the Major Arcana goes. So let's get into this, okay? Speed read. You open this reading with a transition. You are transcended, transitioning into a Ten of Cups energy. Ten of Cups is about harmony in our home, in our marriage. It's about happiness and values alignment in our lives. There is you, my friend, Virgo, as an earth energy. I know the King of Pentacles is the card of Taurus in my readings. However, because this is a Virgo reading and this is an earth sign, this is you presenting as the shit in this reading right here. You are feeling super, super good about yourself. The King of Pentacles is all about security, control, <coughs> power, discipline, and abundance in your life. So you are transitioning into the Ten of Cups, feeling like a badass with the King of Pentacles. What are you transitioning into? Well, by golly, it's commitment with the Hierophant card. You are transitioning into a commitment with somebody in your life. Moon card comes in. Moon card is about a little bit of fear and anxiety, right? It's also about releasing some fear and anxiety. How is it about releasing fear and anxiety? Because it's followed by the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, if you're into tarot and you follow tarot, you know it's about betrayal, deception, shady behavior. But on the flip side, it's also about breaking free of mental challenges, right? So the Moon card comes in and says that you're releasing your fear and your repressed emotions. You're breaking free of mental challenges in regards to commitment, right? This whole little thing right here tells me that you've been rolling around this commitment in your head for a while. And with the Four of Pentacles here, it tells me that you've been kind of stuck, kind of guarded, kind of not wanting to move forward into commitment into your relationship, but now you do. You have resolved all of your feelings of insecurity and uh, emotional blockages when it comes to commitment. This commitment is going to be a turning point in your destiny as most commitment is, right? turning point in your destiny. One life cycle is ending. A new life cycle is beginning for you. This life cycle is something that you are going to build your future upon with the Ten of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles comes in and tells me that you are about to engage or get engaged. You are about to put forth the effort that it's going to take to master a relationship, which is going to take a commitment, right? Which is the Hierophant right there. Wheel of Fortune, again, on top of this, this is going to be a turning point in your destiny. With the Six of Pentacles, who it is you give and receive and share prosperity with in your life. Sun card comes in and says, ecstatically happy. 
like super happy. The Empress, you could be dealing with the Taurus, could not. But this Empress is about um, creating abundance in your life. Birth, renewal, somebody could be pregnant. Um, it's about abundance in your life, right? Page of Cups comes in and says that um, that you are are giving messages, messages, messages. It's a messenger that's giving messages of a creative new beginnings in your life and synchronicity. The Hermit card comes in and says that you have done some soul searching and some introspection about this huge step towards commitment that you're about to make. Um, there it is, commitment, right? Hermit card crossed by the Four of Cups, contemplation and evaluation of your life. You come out of this hermit mode in commitment with an absolute, solid, dedicated decision that you are going to go forward in this relationship with commitment. Eight of Pentacles again comes in and says engagement, death. There's an ending, a change, and a transformation in regards to your fears about commitment. <laughs> in regards to fears about commitment, in regards to your life in general, there's going to be a gigantic change, a transition, a transformation of your life because that's what commitment will do for us. Ace of Swords comes in and says, you have absolute mental clarity. You are not second guessing yourself in any way whatsoever in terms of this commitment. Ten of Cups comes in and says, that's what you're after. That is what you are after. The Ten of Cups, harmony, happiness, values, alignment, and marriage. Six of Swords, transitioning into public recognition, success, and victory with the Emperor. The card of Aries with the Emperor. Uh, it, it, the Emperor is all about authority, establishment, and structure in your life. So this reading, Virgo, tells me that you about to get married. <laughs> if not actually married, like on paper married, you are about to enter into a very, very committed, solid relationship. Congratulations, Virgo. That is your speed read for Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2019. If you liked this, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you think this video could, could help anybody, feel free to share it. If you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. Namaste, my friends.